Hello everyone. In this new tutorial series, we will look into using Godot game engine for creating custom maps for Battlefield 6. So let's start with this one. The first thing is to download the Battlefield 6 SDK. Visit the website portal.battlefield.com. Create a login account if you don't have one. Once logged in, click the start creating button. From this page, you can download, manage and create custom settings for your maps. Now click to download the SDK project. It is about 2 GB in file size. Once downloaded, right click and extract the zip file in a folder. Inside the folder, we have different map level files, model files and other things which we can use. You can also open the readme file which includes useful shortcuts and other information for creating custom maps. Please keep in mind as this is the very first version of the SDK so some things may change in future updates. Now double click to open the Godot game editor. Once the project window is loaded, simply drag the Godot project folder from the SDK into the editor window. This will create a battlefield portal project. Double click to open it. This process may take a few minutes to load the different levels, model files and scripts. So let it load. Once the project is fully loaded, you will be able to find the file system and here you can browse the different folders. Before doing anything else, next on the right side, click Portal Setup button. This will create a virtual environment which allows us to edit the existing maps and perform different operations in it. Wait for a few minutes and let the setup to get completed. Click OK. In the File System window, open the Levels folder. We have been provided with some multiplayer level templates. Double click to open any level. I will open the Firestorm level. Once the level is loaded, you can see the scene elements have been also added. You can hold the right mouse button to rotate in the viewport. Press WASD to move in the editor. Use the mouse wheel to increase or decrease zoom speed. Let's take a look at this map. The green part is the level terrain and the brown objects are the level models. At this time, we cannot edit the existing terrain and level models but we can add and change the map layouts. Hopefully more will be possible in the future updates. In the scene window, you can find the team spawn points. If you want to change the gameplay area, then click the collision polygon 3D object in the combat area. This object will allow to change the borders of the map. You can make it bigger or smaller and this will become the playable area in the game. You can simply click the points and move them. Next we have the team HQ object. These are the spawn areas where the players will be positioned at the start of the game. You can move, add more points and increase the spawn area as you like to. There are two teams currently in the map. Now let's build our new custom level using this same map as a template. I will move to the area in the map where we have some open space to create our level. Open the scene menu, save your file with a different name so we don't mess up our original map in case we want to reuse it later. Click the object library menu in the bottom. 
all map libraries will be shown here. One important point to note here is that you have to use the same object library according to the level you are editing. So in this case, I am using Firestorm map library. If you try to bring in assets from other level, then they won't be able to import and you will get an error message that it is not allowed. Now you can drag and drop any available models anywhere. You can rotate and change the scale as well. When you drop a model in the scene, it may be floating in air. While you can use the transform tool to position it manually, this can become a time consuming thing. So we will delete it. Instead, I will first search for a floor object. We have one firing range floor object available, drag it in the scene. If you want to increase the scale, use the scale tool. While changing the scale of any object, make sure you change the scale in uniform way. Otherwise, stretching the model in one axis will not work in the game. Simply drag any other models over the floor. They will be positioned and snap to it. In this way, you can easily and quickly add different models and build your level. To improve visibility in the editor, you can also disable the environment lighting. To make a duplicate copy of any object, you can press Ctrl D and move the copy to the side. We can change the editor sunlight in the level, but this will not affect the actual level lighting. This feature again may come in future updates. Select the player spawn points and move them on the floor. This will give you an idea how big or small your level is going to be. In the object folder, you will find some more models that you can use. For instance, if you want to bring in some tanks, go to the gameplay folder, open the vehicles folder, place the tanks, you can also add capture points from this folder and rest of the things you can explore from here. One useful feature is the memory tool which will show you the amount of objects that you have added and allow and will make it easier to optimize your level. We have a limit of adding almost around 100,000 objects at this time. You can select all the objects that you have added and drag them in the floor node. In this way, you can make your model more organized and move all elements in it. You can hold the control key to select and move multiple elements. Now save your level and click export current level. Once completed, open exports and here you will find your map in a JSON file format. Now back in the online portal website, you can use the import from file and upload your map and publish it. Currently, there is a review system process. So make sure you dedicate more time to making something nice and test it also before submitting it. And this completes the first tutorial for using Godot Game Engine for Battlefield 6. I hope you find it useful. If you like to see more, then please make sure to leave a comment or suggestion 
like the video and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the battlefield.